So are you currently working right now or you're you're not working? What is no, this? No, I'm not. No. Okay, no work. Sorry, I had to ask this question. Um, yes. The hours a week. Um, why do you think your your hours a week? What's something that I know you have uh, kids and what 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 projected hours a week you think uh, that you would like to do? What what is something that that it's a normal week for you? Okay, um, normal uh, hours of work uh, is forty hours a week. I can work full time because my kids are were very uh, independent. They know already that I'm a freelancer, so um, they're very independent and uh, there is no problem with my kids. I can work full time for 40 hours a week, eight hours a day. Okay. Um, all right. So we have the wage of 307. Is, is that negotiable? Uh, pardon? Is your wage negotiable? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, the whole thing here is this, um, right? Um, since we're a startup. Right, we're actually uh, mm -hmm. there's no there's no investment with it with with the investment. No, we don't have outside investors. Fine. We're actually doing the investing, so that's the reason we ask. But the long term thing is that we want is um, we already have a virtual assistant, and in the mm -hmm. future we actually this is the beginning, right? So we, there is a start, but we'll make sure that we do the right thing at the end. I mean, this I know that it might I, I know that the rate. Um, whatever we negotiate might not be something that might not look at value, but we do appreciate the people that we work with. We already have one virtual assistant. He has put out so much work. We went away from Upwork, and now he's, he's making uh, better money, and, and he's doing well with us. And at the end, you know, we're looking at that the virtual assistants to be actually building your own team. Because okay. that's what we want in the long term. You know, you're managing. Yeah, we're looking for someone that is going to be there long term, but, but bring in their own you know, their own people, like they got to meet your standards, I guess you could say, when you're building out your own team because you, you have more experience in that field. So you know if people are trying to get over on you. Yeah. You know, I don't, want to, I don't want to have to go out and build your team for you. Like I do that stuff for these people, but it's better you do it because you got the experience, you know, and you can ask them the questions and you know the answers. So it's kind of what we're looking for, like somewhere at the top of that could uh, delegate stuff later on when the team expands, so. Yeah, it's all about it's all about a team here, you know. Like I said to you, you're gonna see when you meet the other lead managers, and then when we really, uh, if if we do hire you, you'll see the whole team that we have. We're just all like this, full of energy and down to earth. We're not here to impose ourselves. Like I said once again, it's not about us two titles. We're the senior guys here, obviously in the company, but the rest, I say, kids because they're kids. Yeah. But they have a lot of heart. Yeah. You know, we love the, they're like our kids. One is my nephew, he's like my kid, but the rest are like our kids, which, you know, we give them empowerment. We give them, you know, a lot of, a lot of support and, you know, they do so much and <laughs> that's the future, the future. Part. <laughs> so we're looking for, you know, like I said, the right individual, like you could have all the talent in the world, but if you can't work with people and, and you know uh, and work as a team then it doesn't work for us we had we had many that we interviewed and looked at and we were like wow this person is really talented but it wasn't a fit i mean we just didn't feel anything of that connection that's what i want i think that even you could be less talented my maybe the the other person might be might have more of the talent, but you want that passion and drive you wanted to go that extra mile that's and, and those things that that's what really works so right now you're, uh, you know, two steps away. So <laughs> we like it a lot. I mean, I have to, I have to say that, um, you know, a bad here is not easy for, for him to really connect with someone because he is yeah. more the, the tech guy. He's more the tech guy. I'm more a customer service. So, yeah. um, so one, one more thing with customer services, I'm in the customer service. If there is a, a uh, let's say, a customer online who is actually mad or it's, it's not happy about um, something that, that, that uh, online, how, how would you handle, you know, uh, uh, customers when, uh, what, what's the rule of, of customer service? What is the rule, actually? And how would you okay. handle it to be? Uh, in, customers, in customer service, number one is you should not use your emotions. 
If you are in the customer sales representative or customer service representative, you should not use your emotion. You should put your shoe on the shoe of the customer. So you should understand the customer. Okay. Right. So the next thing is, excuse me, um, I have an allergy. Sorry. So the next thing, if we hey, understand. Listen. Hey, listen, that's what we're going to do. If, if, if we don't, if we lose you and we don't hire you, we're going to be crying too. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay. No, <laughs> that's my problem. In early in the morning, I have allergic rhinitis. But uh, if I ate my breakfast, it's gone. So that's yeah. okay. Well, you're okay. Good. you're on the right track. I mean, you know, customers always right. That's what the the rule yeah. of customer service. And you yeah, always so always not, no confrontations and diffusing the problem is always get. If you can't, you give it to the manager and we'll take care of it. And that's it. But that's that's the last thing I wanted to say. But you know, thank you so much for your time. I don't know if you have any more questions for us. Anything, yeah, anything for me, actually. Angel, angel right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Angel. Okay, um, sir. So let me, let me write here. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. Angel, if you want to write this down, Angel. Okay, let me see if I write it here. Hold on a second. Let me share the screen. Uh, you'll find me here. Hold on a second. Let me write it here. <clears throat> that, you'll find me on LinkedIn. That's that's where I'm at. And you can see more. I mean, obviously, I'm not the expert of uh, social media. So I'm just there because of my hotel industry. I've been there for 33 years. And, and that's where I have everyone. Um, oh. Everyone that you see there, the connection is more of the yeah. hotel industry. Hey, Andrew's waiting for you. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's that's my connection on LinkedIn, okay? And you okay. can follow all the companies. Yes. And then I'll you know sports excitement on do you know on the Instagram what it is? Um sports dot excitement. So that's the Instagram right here. Okay. okay. That's Instagram and that's me on LinkedIn. Okay. So it's yes, great, great to meet you. Um, we're very happy that we had this interview. You did very well. Um, your enthusiasm and, and how you present yourself is excellent. So it's just the next step with, with the next, next two individuals who are very, uh, you know, they're very particular about who they want to hire, but they're great kids. So, yeah. And, and it's good that they are very detail oriented and they want the, the best person for the company because, they really care about us and wanting the success for everybody. So, all right. 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 Yes, that's right. Okay. Thank and, you so uh, much, Sir Angel and Sir Abad. Thank you so much. And I have really a good appreciate day. it. And a, and a happy new year to you and your family. And happy the new year. Yes. And all happy the new best year. to you. Take Thank care. Thank you so much. Looking forward. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay.